Aries, hi. So this is going to be a reading for February 5th through the 11th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. <clears throat> Let's see. All right, the overall energy for the reading, The Fool. I like when you guys show up. I feel like this is a collective kind of a energy because uh, everybody keeps on showing up in the same way in the opening it's like i'm open bring it on and it is brought on it is brought on but it's like i don't think you're open for this necessarily but your energy definitely seems open um and it's kind of like the same kind of scenario that i see you know kind of going through a little bit of a bumpy road at the time but at this time but then I see everything opening up towards something better. So it's definitely a collective kind of a trade where it's it's almost like we're uh, brushing off the, the last like remains of whatever energy was left in the way there to, to kind of get go in a better direction here. You know, so I don't know. In the recent past, the chariot, the ten of wands, the tower. Um, <clears throat> definitely difficult, something difficult here, something very, uh, hard to carry by the looks of it. I don't know what happened with that tower. I feel like you're still kind of trying to sort something out, out of something that happens, um, happened, which I can't tell exactly what it was. I just see that it feels difficult. I kind of also see that it was kind of meant to happen in this way so that you can learn something out of it. Um, so let's see where we're going with this one. In the current situation, the Five of Swords, the Devil, the Ace of Wands. Mm, you're playing with something here. You're playing not a great game. It's There's deceptiveness here. There's unhealthy energies at play and you keep on giving uh, either from this energy or towards this energy. Whatever you're doing here, it almost feels like a like a game. But a game of, mm, I know it'll burn, but let me put my hand in the fire. Kind of a game, you know? Like that kind of a situation. Okay. In the immediate future, the High Priestess, the Sun, the Seven of Pentacles. Definitely better energies. Way better than the past, than, than the current. Uh, kind of starting to tune into your intuition, which feels way better than any of these games or whatever shown up here, and uh, maybe even tied up to you building a sense of stability starts to look a whole lot better than where things are. So let's see what the hell is going on here. Let me do the full. <clears throat> the two of swords the three of pentacles the four of swords all right so you're showing me a partnership here and you're showing me that energetically speaking you're definitely fully open to it physically or mentally speaking e there's a little bit of i don't know what to do about this partnership you know i feel like you're trying to sit with it and kind of not try to make any sudden moves right now around this partnership at least it's it's kind of iffy it's kind of like uh, you know okay let me do the chariot the queen of pentacles the queen of swords the ace of cups all right so everything looks good here in how you're approaching a situation so you're stepping onto a path here that looks and feels good for the longest time it feels like okay i'm on the right path here all right then let's see what happens let me do the ten of pentacles the justice card the tower the three of cups uh, something happened here that you felt you are no longer necessarily on the right path or things didn't seem balanced anymore. And this is where you introduce to me another energy that's attached to you. 
So I'm not sure if the introduction of this energy on this path kind of started to like, uh, what's going on here? Or if this energy was with you all along, but things started to go a little sideways by the looks of it. There's, there's something, something happened. Where I see you trying your best to bring everything back into a steady pace. This that you just showed me, everything's fine here. It was no longer fine. Something happened with this tower. So let's see the tower. But it is tied up to another person. Whatever happened here. where you? It feels like you lost your balance. <clears throat> the Ace of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Swords. I feel like this tower wasn't necessarily the nastiest thing possible. I kind of get the sense that it just brought in change massive change to a particular situation and i'm not sure if you are up for this change i'm not sure if you wanted this change because as i said you're coming into this from a perspective of everything's good why would you change something if it's good right but this energy when you put it together with this other energy that you're showing me here which could be another person it could also be something else. It doesn't have to be a person, but just some interference of another energy on that path. Then it required a massive change. And that's where I see you being like, nope. Either not wanting to change at all or just having a really hard time to adjust to the change. But whatever the case, it didn't feel good. Let me do the five of swords in the current situation you get the chariot the king of wands the king of swords let me do the devil you get the three of wands the two of cups the eight of pentacles and let me get the ace of wands you get the six of cups the eight of cups the knight of wands yeah, you're still struggling with this change because I feel like you haven't let go of the situation completely. Not necessarily. There's still a little bit of back and forth here. For the most part, you're showing up as being very determined to drop everything. The change is too massive. It's too much. I don't want to do it. Goodbye. And then you readdress it. You come back to it. After some time passes, you're like, okay, you know what? Let's... Uh... And this change could be pretty much anything. It could be... that you do have someone right by your side on this path and things start going very toxic between the two of you. It could be um, as little as you do have someone by your side and they decide to move at the other end of the world or something. You know, I don't know what it is. I can't see it. I just see it as change. And you're like, no not not dealing with it at all initially from your perspective but right now you're looking like i kind of wanna like i want to work on this but I, uh, mm, there's mixed feelings about this whole situation on your side from what i can see uh where you show up as being very determined to work on this but you're not necessarily doing anything about it you know and that's where the deceptiveness and where the not great energies are at play because it's like your energy is all invested while physically nope you're nowhere to be found you know in this you're kind of like give me a minute i need to think about it and then the energies are saying think about what we're here we're ready let's go and you're like hold on hold your horses you know so there's almost like a battle with yourself there rather with than with anything else um <clears throat> Yeah, it feels like, at the end of the day, it may feel like a missed opportunity kind of a thing, you know? Um, where even you are showing up in a sense of uh, almost afraid that it's going to be too little too late, you know? When it comes to whatever other energy you're dealing with. I do see a soul connection there, so again, they could come in as... From, from spouse to best friend to a family dynamic here. I don't know what it is. But as you struggle to deal with the situation for yourself to kind of gain a sense of clarity and what you'd really want to do about it, 
some time passes and then you're showing up in a little bit of fear of mm, what if it's too little too late like okay you know for both cases even for you it could be too little too late like what if through all of the struggle trying to figure out you find yourself mm, this doesn't carry as much significance for me anymore because so much time has passed that i disconnected from this completely so there's definitely a sense of too little too late here I still see you acting upon it, even though this energy is present. Um, after you take some time to figure things out, where, in all honesty, I don't see you figuring things out right now. Um, but anyway, so let's do the High Priestess in the immediate future, the Six of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, the Temperance card. <clears throat> this could be tied up to work. You're sending me in that direction a lot at this point in time. And this could have to do with someone you're working with or someone that's there by your side as you're working on something. It does look like things are falling into place. Uh, if you give it some time, some patience, it does look like things are falling into the exact right place where they need to be. Where it's almost like you don't even have to do shit. You just kind of go about your day and things are, oh, okay, we're good. I don't know. Okay. For the sun, you get the five of swords, the lovers, the five of pentacles. Oh, man. Whatever this is, you're not done with it. You won't be done with it for a minute. If not forever, it could be one of those things that stays with you for life, even though the person is at the other end of the world. Who the hell knows? Because there seems to be... You're showing me here an energy of chapter closed over this. And it's shown up as being a pretty deceptive kind of way of putting it. Especially because you're shown up as, oh, I'm so happy. Uh, this is done. It made me so happy. Okay. Then why is it shown up as a deceptive energy when you're saying, oh, I'm done? I don't know. I don't know. And I'm not sure how this ties up into whatever you're doing for yourself here. Because in that energy of doing for yourself, you're showing up pretty straight up. Like, okay, everything's falling into place. Everything's going to be fine. This one is kind of tangled up in there somehow. Uh, this situation with whoever this is. Anyways, let's do the Seven of Pentacles in the immediate future. The King of Cups, the High Priestess, the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine uh, when it comes to this energy that's directly tied up to you and what you're doing for yourself and for your own sense of stability. Whatever this connection is that seems to be hitting a little bit of a bump in the road or has been hitting a little bit of a bump in the road for a while. And then you're coming in with a bigger bump in the road saying, road saying oh, this is closed off, by the way, which no, it's not going to be closed off even when you believe that because um, I... I see the energies and you're, no, it's not, it's not yet. Maybe it will at some point, but as you come in here and tell me this, no, not at this point in time. Maybe it just makes you feel better saying that. Um, but yeah, again, as far as you're concerned with whatever it is you got going on, especially tied up to possibly work, home life, whatever you got there, everything is um, looking pretty good in these energies of the immediate future you know as far as this bump in the road you're still kind of struggling with it it's not going to be closed off even though you tell yourself that uh not not for a minute here there's still some stuff that needs to be sorted out throughout all of this that has taken place and when it comes to how you truly feel about it you know what's left in there at the end of the day at the end of the bump um, let's see what the universe has to close it off. The Five of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Empress. Yeah, this is a very alive kind of an energy. So no, it's not closed off. You keep on pointing it to me as if it's in the past. It's not affecting you anymore. It's fine. It's, you know, yeah, important, whatever. It comes with me. It's good. But like... It's in the past. Like, why talk about it? Why think about it? Because it left some pretty icky energies here that you didn't fix, you didn't take care of, you didn't heal. 
And as much as things are kind of falling into place for you and pretty much everywhere in your life, this energy, which is a very important one, if you don't take a look at it and actually heal it and not by saying it's in the past, it doesn't affect me, it may start affecting you in other areas of your life. So even though you have it good right now in most areas of your life, but this one is like, a, you know? and it doesn't necessarily feel like it's affecting anything, eventually it might affect other areas of your life. So, I don't know, you're, you're, just, you're just kind of trying to brush this under the rug, you know, where I'm seeing a whole lot of energy tied up to this one. And it's like, it's not one of those that you, I mean, you can, of course you can't brush it under the rug, right? And pretend it's not there. But you and I both know that it's always going to be there and it's going to come back with stronger forces to it. Like it's going to be bigger and worse if you don't attend to it. Um, so anyways, that's, uh, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.